In last week's big exam prep workshop, a student asked me if I suggested trying to answer test questions before looking at the answer choices. Is this a good strategy? Now I'm always looking for easy to incorporate strategies that are gonna increase the chances of a correct response. So naturally, I had to give this one some serious thought. And drum roll please, I think this is definitely a strategy that needs to be considered. But first, I wanna point out that this strategy is not always possible, specifically when we have scenario questions that would require discriminating between unique answer options. So for that caveat, the first bit of advice is learning to discriminate for which questions this can actually be useful and not just a frustrating waste of time. Now, for the questions that you should be able to answer without looking at the answer choices, uh, these would be questions that are based on standard vocabulary and terminology. There are two benefits to using this strategy. Now, one benefit is a study tester knowledge sort of benefit. Like if during practice mocks, you're able to reliably answer a question without the luxury of answer choices serving as sort of prompts, that's a good sign that you know the topic. In behavior analytic terms, it's kind of like by removing the answer options, you're fading prompts and performing independently. The second benefit is an exam day benefit, which you can absolutely role play during practice mocks. This is a sort of time saver slash reinforcer. If you're able to reliably answer a question without the answer choices present, you'll, you'll have an easier time discriminating the correct option once you actually do look at the choices without getting distracted by the answer choices or forgetting the key elements in the question or the scenario. And it is very reinforcing to find your independent answer in the answer choices. So the takeaway is use this strategy with caution.